Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 1 over 4 plus x is equal to 1 over 4 minus x squared. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 1 over 4 plus x must be greater than or equal to 0. 1 over 4 plus uh, x must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that uh, x must be greater than or equal to negative 1 over 4. This 1 over 4 minus x squared, 1 over 4 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that uh, x squared must be less than or equal to 1 over 4. And this implies that uh, x must be less than or equal to 1 over 2 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 1 over 2. If we combine these two, we get the domain of this equation x must be less than or equal to 1 over 2 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 1 over 4. Now, let us continue by squaring both sides of this equation. Square root of 1 over 4 plus uh, x is equal to 1 over 4 minus x squared. We square both sides of uh, this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with the 1 over 4 plus x is equal to this 1 over 4 minus x squared whole squared will become 1 over 4 squared minus 2 times 1 over 4 times x squared plus x to the power 4. Now, we suppose that let t is equal to 1 over 4. So, this equation will become t plus uh, x is equal to t squared minus 2 t x squared plus uh, x to the power 4. Move these two terms uh, to the right hand side, this will become t squared minus 2 times t times x squared. This positive t will become negative t at right hand side plus this x to the power 4 and this positive x will become negative x at right hand side is equal to 0. Next t squared from these two terms in negative 2t x squared minus t we can factor out negative t. Negative t as common factor and in bracket left positive 2x squared plus 1 plus this x to the power 4 minus x is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of t. In this equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2x squared plus 1 and c is equal to x to the power 4 minus x. According to quadratic formula, t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared will come negative 2x squared plus 1 whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is x to the power 4 minus x divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus minus square root of. Since the square of a negative term is always positive, so we can remove this negative sign. In this 2x squared plus 1 whole squared will become 
फोर एक्स टू द पावर फोर प्लस फोर टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वेड प्लस वन दिस नेगेटिव फोर टाइम्स वन टाइम्स एक्स टू द पावर फोर विल बिकम नेगेटिव फोर एक्स टू द पावर फोर दिस नेगेटिव फोर टाइम्स वन टाइम्स नेगेटिव एक्स विल बिकम प्लस फोर टाइम्स एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टू टाइम्स वन विल बिकम टू Now this negative four x to the power four will be cancelled out with this positive four x to the power four, and we are left with the t is equal to two x squared plus one plus minus square root of four x squared plus four times x plus one divided by two. And this t is equal to two x squared plus one plus minus square root of two. This square will be cancelled out with this square root, and from here we get two values. T is equal to two x squared plus one plus two times x plus one divided by two. Or t is equal to 2x squared plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2. Now from this equation, t is equal to 2x squared. This 2x plus 2 times x and this 1 plus 1 will become plus 2. Divided by two, and t is equal to from the numerator we can factor out two in bracket left x squared plus x plus one divided by two. This two will be cancelled out with this two, and we get the value of t is equal to x squared plus x plus one. From this equation, this positive one will be cancelled out with this negative one. And this will become t is equal to 2x squared minus 2 times x divided by 2. And from the numerator, we can factor out 2. This will become t is equal to 2 in bracket left x squared minus x divided by 2. This 2 will be cancelled out with this 2, and we get the value of t is equal to. X squared minus x. Now recall that we have suppose we have suppose that t is equal to one over four. We have suppose that t is equal to one over four. So when t is equal to this expression, then this will become. One over four is equal to x squared plus x plus one. Move this one over four to the right hand side. This will become x squared plus x plus one minus one over four is equal to zero. X squared plus x one minus one over four will become plus three over four. Is equal to zero. Next, x squared. This uh, x can be written as uh, plus uh, two times x times one uh, over two, and this uh, three over four can be written as uh, plus one uh, over four plus two uh, over four is equal to zero. Now this x squared plus uh, two times x. Times one over two plus one over four will become x plus one over two whole squared. Plus this two over four will become one over two is equal to zero. Move this one over two to the right hand side. This will become x plus one over two whole 
squared is equal to negative 1 over 2 and from here we take a square root of both sides So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with x plus 1 over 2 is equal to plus minus this square root of negative 1 over 2 is same as root negative 1 times root 1 over 2. Next x plus 1 over 2 is equal to plus minus this root negative 1 will become i and this root 1 over 2 will become 1 over root 2. To rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 2. So this will become x plus 1 over 2 is equal to plus minus this i times 1 times root 2 will become i root 2 divided by root 2 times root 2 will become 2. Move this 1 over 2 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to negative 1 over 2 plus minus i times root 2 divided by 2 and this will become 2 and negative 1 plus minus i times root 2. These are the two solutions x1 and 2. Now we solve the second case. When t is equal to x squared minus x then this will become 1 over 4 is equal to x squared minus x. We can rewrite this equation as x squared minus x is equal to 1 over 4. Next x squared minus this x is same as 2 times x times 1 over 2 is equal to this 1 over 4. To complete the square we add at left hand side we add 1 over 4 and we add at right hand side 1 over 4. Now this is a perfect square so this will become x minus 1 over 2 whole squared is equal to this 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 will become 1 over 2 and from here we take a square root of both sides. So this square will be considered with the square root and we are left with x minus 1 over 2 is equal to plus minus this uh, root 1 over 2 is same as 1 over root 2. To rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 2. So this will become x minus 1 over 2 is equal to plus minus 1 times root 2 root 2 divided by root 2 times root 2 will become 2. Now we move this negative 1 over 2 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 1 over 2 plus minus root 2 over 2. Next x is equal to the LCM is 2 so this 1 will come here plus minus this root 2 will come here. From here we get other two values of x. x is equal to 1 plus root 2 over 2 the x is equal to 1 minus root 2 over 2. This is third and this is the fourth value of x. Now we use the domain of this equation to remove uh, invalid solutions. This is the domain x must be less than or equal to 1 over 2 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 1 over 4. The domain is x must be less than or equal to 1 over 2 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 1 over 4. This third value of x 1 plus root 2 over 2 is greater than 1 over 2. So this is not valid this will be rejected. 
and this uh, 1 minus uh, root 2 over 2 is uh, less than 1 over 2 and is uh, greater than negative 1 over 4. So, this is a valid real solution of this equation and these two complex solutions are also valid.